Welcome to the Gamescape, everybody. My name is Jarek, and today we're back in Phoenix Point. This is episode 85 of our playthrough. And in our previous episode, we had a two for one mission. Our first mission was very fast, running the Crystal Crossbow blueprints, our mutoids, they're, they're so fast. The New Jericho guys didn't really even have any chance to get weapons on us, save for one missile that was fired at Frag. Three turns in and out, we killed one New, New Jericho heavy, and that was the mission done and done went as smooth as any mission we've ever had. I, I was super impressed. And since that mission took only about 10 minutes, we decided to press on and brought in the bounty hunters down to our Antarctica storyline mission, which is the last of the Symes missions for the storyline. This was his last stop. I think some uh, higher power might have been a little bit upset with us that that first mission went so smoothly because what we faced in the second mission was nothing short of cruel. Uh, we saw three Acherons, two Chirons, one which was chucking bombs at us and the other one was throwing goo around. Two Sirens, bunch of Arthrons and Tritons and Myrmidons. Uh, we ended up losing both frag and double tap to bombs and just regular attrition damage, and there just wasn't a ton I could do about it. Uh, one Acheron called in some reinforcements and resurrected four or five corpses that we'd just put down. They came back stronger than they were at first. It just ended up being too much, and we couldn't handle the attrition we were taking. Uh, Frag's arm was down to nothing, and every time he got hit with one of those bombs, he started bleeding 50 again. We pressed on, we did get some captures and beat the mission, but the bounty hunters are out of commission until we can get some replacements. So unfortunately, the last of the antediluvian plans is here too, the Scyther, but with the bounty hunters only down to four people, I don't think that we can go in and do that. That's just asking for trouble. But we got lucky with the crystal crossbow mission, the way it was laid out, the way we were able to just run and grab and go. I, I don't think it's, uh, well, I think it might be asking a little too much to hope that we could do that again. I am planning to rotate some of our teams around. I'm going to bring the silencers or maybe the strike force down to the Americas to keep an eye on things while we rotate the bounty hunters back around to Phoenix Charlie and get the team back up and running. And so silver lining in all of this, which isn't much, but it's a little something, is at least they can swing up here and they can pick up poor Indiana, who's been stranded here until uh, ever since we lost his uh, airplane. Uh, so... Uh, he'll be able to get back at least to Phoenix Charlie and get trained up and maybe he'll get a new ride and maybe he'll even get in on some action. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But we're going to have to rotate another team down here to take care of the Scyther because I don't think we can do it with just four. Um, it, it would be super risky and I don't want to take that risk at this point. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to go to personnel. First of all, we have a bunch of captures, so we're going to get rid of them. And that'll get us some more mutagens, which will be more than enough to train up two more people. And we're going to go ahead and get in here. We're going to get some recruits. Uh, we're going to need another heavy at Phoenix Charlie. And we need another sniper at Phoenix Charlie. And I think what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do this right now because he has no experience points, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, make the heavy that we just brought in sort of like Banshee with uh, more close in support type uh, melee type of build. And I think I'm going to rotate that new heavy into the Tomb Raiders and I'm going to rotate Nocturne out here to the Bounty Hunters because I don't, I, I built Nocturne and uh, Richter both the same, which was, I, I think it was a mistake. The, the Tomb Raiders really could use a melee specialist, somebody that can get in there and just go hand to hand with all of those, uh, um, all of those hoplites and stuff while she's war, war crying or he's war crying. And so I think I'm going to rotate them around if it's convenient to do that. I don't know exactly where the two teams are going to be when we get to where we can do that. But for now, um, it's just kind of what it is. Um, that's the, that's the tentative plan at least. Uh, speaking of the Tomb Raiders, they are here in Europe resting up right now. Uh, one of them's got a little bit of damage, but mostly they're just recovering some stamina. And then we're going to be sending them down here to do some more work around here. We definitely need this site here. Um, this one gives us the processing site for the, uh, uh, protein mut butane. And then this one's another protein butane field, which we might grab. And I think it was this one is, yeah, the Oracalcum Forge. So we need this site too, for sure. So we'll definitely grab at least those two, probably these two as well, since they're convenient and it's an extra thousand materials each. So I think that'll end up being okay, but they're resting for the moment. Uh, these guys are, the silencers are good to go. They're completely rested up now. 
So I think what I'm going to do with them, I'm going to have them catch this nest on the way out, and then I'm going to rotate them around here to the Americas to keep an eye on things while the bounty hunters are getting fit out again. And then we have the silencers right here. Or strike force right here, rather, sorry. Uh, they're just going to stay in this region because we know still that we have a citadel right in here somewhere, and I don't know where it is, and we're not going to find it again until they... Uh, stick their stick their heads out and attack one of these havens and we have to be here ready to deal with that when it happens so that's kind of the plan and i think that's how we're going to go so these guys are moving to do some trading um they're they're got a destination they're sitting tight for a second these guys are heading here to this nest that just appeared and let's get a move on all right satellite uplink at phoenix r d4 is good let's do this trade here we want all your food because we were low Okay, looks good. And then we're going to head out and we're going to trade some of that right back to these guys. But what do we want, though? What do we want? We want to go here. Is this... Do they have anything for us here? No, we just traded there. All right. Sorry, guys. It's been about a week since I've recorded, actually. So um, I've had kind of a little bit of a busy week and I don't remember exactly where everything is here. So just got to look around just to hair. Uh, this will be okay. Let's head them here. Uh, we'll trade off some tech for some materials. And then we can come over here and trade some food back for some tech and such. All right. We have the Subjugator Virus Sniper Rifle. So that does 50 damage and does 10 virus damage as well. So that's going to be great. Um, 50 damage with 20 piercing means it can break 70 arm, break through up to 70 armor. And so that's going to be much better for silos and stuff like that uh, if we can get some of these manufactured. Speaking of manufacturing, how are we looking there? Um, we are almost done with it. And so that's going to be done. Then uh, another 8, 10, 12, uh, 18, 20, 20 couple. Oh, not quite a little, little, not quite a day left. And all the rest of that gear will be done. And the uh, tech support team will be ready to go. Um, I want a couple of Athenas, and I definitely want a couple of Subjugators, I think, that we just got, if I can find them. Should be highlighted. There we go. Subjugator. Grab a couple of those, too. And uh, let's call that good for just the moment. I think that'll be all right. So good, good, good. Everything's ready. These guys are coming up here. They're moving. Okay, trade here. Uh, we want everything you got. Okay, looks good. Let's bring them over here. Okay, here we go. We want this at Phoenix Charlie. There. Okay, and we can even put Gizmo and Gadget on the plane because they are all ready to go. Except they don't have any, you know, equipment, of course. And their speed, it can get on the plane too. All set. Uh, these guys are already in there training up, so that'll be fine. Um, I need to pick up names from stuff for them. I've got some ideas, so if we have to name them right on the fly, I can do that. But uh, if we if we don't have to, I will do it between uh, I'll do it between episodes here. So these guys are ready to trade. So let's bring the tech support over to here. Okay, let's trade this. And we want to give back food for the uh, for the materials. And then we can go here. Um, we can yeah we can trade the materials for. Okay, here we are in the nest. This is going to be a standard Pandora nest. A uh, little bit of love from all the uh, other factions. All right. And we have the silencers coming in on this one. Everybody seems to be pretty good to go here. Um, I think we had one person hurt, right? I'll keep an eye on that. Blackout, you seem like you're good. Stasis is good. Catherine is all set with all of her weapons. We got Temptation, who is good to go. I don't have a rifle for her yet. 
and then we have reverb who is also good to go um the danchev it's mediocre uh although it does poison damage so i guess that's something but uh i don't know i we're not hurting i guess i, I i'll just leave it we're not hurting for uh carry capacity or anything like that so all's well all right static's good to go everybody's good to go and so let's get back to here and let's go ahead and jump on in here i'll see you guys on the other side okay here we go and this is your standard just find the sentinels and blow them up so pretty pretty easy got one probably right here Got some sparklies there. The other sparklies are over here, so I suspect that this is going to be fairly straightforward. Um, let's have a look up this way. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's have frenzy. There we go. Now we can motor a little better. Let's move to here. Really? We can't see into that. There, now we can see. Okay, there's our thing. It's already activated. How's our shotgun look? Oh, pretty good. Okay, well, I guess that's one way to take care of a catching sentinel. Easy enough. All right. Uh, stasis, let's give him a couple of extra points so he can get out of there and get into something like some real cover. Uh, I'm going to wait on that, though, for a minute. Let's have Tim. Let's see. Yeah, this is static. Let's have static move up here, too. See what we can find. Okay, we could come down there or we can come up here. Wow, that's helpful. I mean, it's got to be right in here, right? Uh, let's do this. Let's have him. I, I'm afraid if I come up into here, it's going to activate the, the Sentinel. So maybe what we'll do is we'll get everybody in position up here and we'll get some overwatches going. And then let's bring reverb here and let's have an overwatch this way. Have blackout come down here and get some cover. I think that looks okay there. Okay, Catherine. You can come up and you can have maybe uh, Overwatch uh, with your hand weapon down this way, I guess. Something like that. And you can Overwatch this way. And then Stasis, you're already down two points, so we're going to get you... Trying to find some okay cover here. I'm not seeing much of it. Could have guys coming up from there. Let's bring her here. And then let's have her overwatch this way. Nice and wide. Something like that. Okay, here comes somebody. Triton Thug. Okay, one hit. Some acid disabled an arm, not the right arm, unfortunately. Oh, and that's a, uh, I don't know, that might be a tar shadow. That might just be the glow from the uh, virus damage. Okay, that's fine. Although it did blow up our cover, which I'm less excited about.
Okay. Wow, that disabled a head. Okay. Part way to uh, paralyze there. We'll capture him. Okay, poacher coming. You get a shot? Yep. That's okay. That's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, so what I could do is I could take control of all of these guys, line them all up nice, and then stun them all down. That would be an option. I mean, I can't get them all in one turn, obviously, but... Uh, Let's see what we got here. He's got 26. He's got 16. 23. 17. And 19. So if I were to do a psychic scream, I could move this way and just get a little bit more... Um, you know, what? why don't we do this? Since you're standing right here anyway, why don't you come here? Why don't you get your near razor out? Which isn't ready to go, unfortunately, but that's okay. We're going to do this, and then we're going to stick this guy a couple of times. And we're going to move away from him. Yeah, I could bring you here and stick him two more times. And that captures him. Yeah. Uh, Reverb does not have regen. So we'll have to get him healed up a little bit here. Okay, there's a couple of there. Let's have you have uh, Cure Spray. Get that bleeding stopped. Blackout. You could. Well, you could get three of these guys. You're not going to get four. Let's see. If I can get this guy down, I can mind control him, use him to stun this guy down. And then I can finish this guy and I can mind control this guy. Yeah, I think that'll probably work. Let's see what we can do. Uh, start with blackout. Let's get blackout over here. Probably here first. Uh, before I do that, even, let's get you over to here. Let's have you swap out blackout's weapons. So. I don't have to waste the action doing it. Okay, you're going to come to here. You're going to give me one of these. Oh, no, I stepped too far. Okay, let's back up a step. And give me one of these. There we go. Okay, and you're going to come to here, and you're going to give me one of these. And then, of course, I can't do it again because I had to take the extra two steps, which was poor planning, to say the least, on my part. But it's what it is. It's fine. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to come to here. Now, if I do it again, are they going to panic? Yes. Panic there. Not there. And guess there. So we'll just do it without. Let's do a mind control. Uh, I can't see him. I have to step to here, I guess. Let's do a mind control on this fellow here. Okay. And then we're going to have Stasis do a mind control on this guy, hopefully. There we go. Okay, you belong to me now, and you're going to give me some shots into this guy right here. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna use that. That's uh, 21 of 19. We better give him one more. Uh, you know what? He's so good for a turn. Let's give him one. Ooh, that's not very good, actually. All right, you know what? I'll just get him again. That's fine. That's fine. This guy's not going anywhere anyway. Um, We can get... Stasis. Uh, you know what? We have plenty with Catherine. Let's get her over here where she's still got some move left afterward. And let's finish this guy. Oh, oh come on, Jarek. I mean, it didn't hurt that bad, but it's just one of those silly things I always forget. Uh, this is going to put him out, right? Uh, yes, it will. Pop him in the head. And he's down. This guy, we're going to have him come up to here. And we're going to shoot him too. Get you into cover. That looks good. Temptation, you can can't target him. Oh, do we have line down here? Oh, we have line of sight on something down here. She'll bear a champion. All right, you need to get out of there then. Okay, why don't you grab this cover here. And let's have an overwatch. Just in case he comes around this corner. And reverb. She step back a step. Nah, you know what? Stay right there where you're at. I think you're okay. This guy's coming up, but he's not that fast. He's not going to get to us to be a threat. Um, can you overwatch? No, you guys can't overwatch, can you? Oh, maybe if I have the right gun selected, he can overwatch. We'll let him overwatch. Okay, let the guy come and dragon champion. Okay, there's our shield bearer. Uh, he is 380. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. up here let's have a look around the corner see what we can see we should have hopefully oh it's not here despite there being blue sparklies it's not there it's not a guarantee it's not ever a guarantee so it must be down here then all right um let's have you take a couple of shots you don't really have a good line on this guy, do you? Uh, your claw, your tentacles are... Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, looking good there. Uh, what do we want to do here? I would like reverb to get a couple of siphon attacks in, which means we're going to need more help over here. And if I come here and I take a shotgun and I point it at this gentleman right here, it's not quite going to do it, but that will. So this will be a point back for everybody. I love that shotgun. Love that shotgun. All right. That problem's taken care of. And let's come down to here. I guess we're heading this way anyway. Just sit tight right there. Catherine. What do we got here? Let's 
have you come here. Why don't you pop this guy of ours right here. Yeah, I know it's friendly. I know he's friendly. But if we can get, uh, oops, get a little bit of stun on him, we can let him go. Okay. He's paralyzed. This guy's paralyzed. This guy up here is dealing with him, which is fine. Temptation. Uh, who did you, you, you're the one who has him under control, right? Yes. So I can release him He's safely now. And she can even come over here and stick him one more time. Just for good measure. And she can come here and she can stick him one more time for good measure. Excellent. That works. You're out. He's not quite paralyzed. Could I get somebody there to paralyze him? I can. And the question is, can I get to where? Well, we better not push it. Let's, uh, I was thinking maybe I could get there in one turn and I probably could even with, with blackout cause I could dash, dash shotgun, dash, dash shotgun, the sentinel. And that'll be the end. So, yeah, why don't we get up here, paralyze this dragon. And so in order to do that, I'm going to need to run. Uh, one more shot will do, as long as I don't miss. Hmm, well, this is a little bit risky, but... Okay, that's done. Let's get you back away from those eggs just in case. All right, blackout. I need a dash to here. And I need another dash to here. Okay, there's our sentinel. Before we do that, however, we need a couple of siphon attacks here. Get some of that health back that we lost. Um, does that put him at full? Not quite. Pretty close. We'll do it again. Okay, that's done. Uh, you're out, so you better be able to do this. Hopefully this isn't... <laughs> no chance of... Uh, no chance of malfunction on the shotgun here. That'll do it. There we go, guys. Easy mission. Of course, I said that last time, too, and then you saw what happened after that. All right. Everything's good. Let's get back to the Geoscape. Okay, here we go. Uh, four Arthrons and a Triton. Neutralized. No problem. Era Magazines. Redeemer Magazine. Cost about eight. That's done. And then they are going to continue this way. Do we want them to do this? They can at least check it out and see what it is, I suppose. Oh, they could run this site too before they uh, before it gets covered in mist. That might not be the worst thing. Let's go there. All right, you guys do your trade here. Um, actually, there we go. Now you can do your trade here. And we want all your tech. We want all your food? Um, yes, we do. Okay, looks good there. And we can come back down here. And we can trade some of that tech back and get some more stuff. I like it. Okay, trade here. All the... Oh, already did. Okay, traded there. So we can come here, trade tech off for materials if we want okay they they have some stuff they can trade us let's come down here 
looks good. These guys are... Uh-oh, there's our behemoth. All right. Behemoth is coming out, and he is not in a good place. Not for us. Okay. These guys, are you rested? You're rested. You're coming down here. Uh, you need weapons. Uh, this is the Tomb Raiders. Air Force Tomb Raiders. Let's give you this and these. And we'll hope for the best. Okay, heading down here. We're going to take care of that. Then you're going to need to come down to here. Oh, we got a... Where's this guy going? Is he coming for our base? I think he is. No. Is that what I wanted? Yeah, it is. Okay. These guys are moving, but they're not quick enough. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. They're moving out. They're moving out. They are not ready to move out yet because their gear is still being produced. And they probably could help out down here too, um, unfortunately. Probably going to have to abandon this area for just a moment because I need to go get rid of those havens. And they're not armed anyway, so they can't deal with any... Okay, trade this. Okay, and then I think I want this too. Yeah, two for 12 for sure. Good trade there. Okay, well, we have plenty of food, that's for sure. Okay, we'll get them over to here. All right, what do we got? Triton Umbra. Poacher Alpha. That's the guy that's got the uh, the virus sniper rifle. Ghost. The Ghost Alpha. I think those are the ones with the... Um, I think they've got the paralyzing weapons. Chiron Thysis. And Silent Tyrant. Silent Thyrios. Um, I'm not sure about the Ghost. Yeah, the Ghost has the Athena... And so the, uh, oh, the Ghost Alpha has the, the uh, uh, what you call it, the uh, Subjugator. That's the one. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Tyrant has the Screamer Head and the Cannons, and he's got the uh, Psychic Scream Head, and he's got the different, oh, what is this guy's deal? Side the Therios. He has, it's still Frenzy, Spawn Mind Fragger. He's virus resistant and he's tough. And he's got the Smashers. All right. So he's, uh, I think he's just an up, up jumped uh, Xenagos. I think he's just tougher, better armor, etc. All right. Well, we're rolling. We're rolling. Okay. Silly damaged. Yeah, he got to Phoenix Forward Command. He's going to tear up our base here, and there's not a ton we can do about that. I mean, we're moving, but so much for that. Okay, right now, what we need to do is we need to go into here. Yeah, he's, he's going to rip apart our base. There's just nothing we can do about that. We need Indiana. Where you at? There he is. You get on the plane with the bounty hunters. Get yourself a ride back. Uh, we have a Pandoran lair here again. That's come up out of nowhere. Uh, the bounty hunters can come here and help out. Um, is this plane armed by chance? No. Well, that's not good. I guess we're going to have to let him blow up our base. 
because there's not much we can do about it, to be completely honest. I mean, the Bounty Hunter's plane is a little bit armed. It's got one cannon on it. We could put a missile on it. We're right here. We could do that. Let's do that. Air Force. Bounty Hunters gets this missile. Oh, they just left, didn't they? Okay, well, for heaven's sake, Jarek. Um, all right, let's try this one more time. Bounty Hunters <laughs> get this missile. There we go. Now they can go and engage this guy. Uh, this plane can't really help out. So they're going to come down to here and get ready to hit that. Okay, you guys are going to trade here. Get some of that tech back. And you're going to take some of this back. Actually, I probably shouldn't have bought the tech. We'll end up trading that straight across probably, but... All right, uh, how are we doing for manufacturing? Uh, arms are just about, uh, their armor is done. They could, theoretically speaking, come help out with somebody if they needed it. Okay, we're about ready to engage right here. There's our other plane, they're heading in there too. We'll bring them there. Haven infested by Pandorans. I don't want to start this mission yet. I want to actually engage this thing. Uh, it's got radar guided weapons, so we're just going to be taking hits until we uh, until we get it. So, um, yeah, both of its weapons are radar guided, and I don't have a radar jammer yet. So that's going to be the way it is. So we have to just watch our watch our health and get out when we can. Uh, let's get in here. Oh my goodness, okay. Three is their cannon. That's their pea shooter. I'm a little more worried about the missile than the cannon. So I'm gonna do that. Cannon's not gonna hurt us too bad. We got 50 armor, it does 50 damage. So we're gonna focus on the other one first. Come on, give me hits on that cannon. Got one, come on, do it again. We're gonna take one hit from the weapon here. Okay, cannon's gone. Okay, that hurt. We lost one of our guns. And the other one's almost dead. Uh, two shots, maybe. Let's see what they do to us here. Now oh, there goes our afterburner. That's okay. That's not hurting us. Okay, one hit. One's not going to do it. Let's disengage and let's come back. have any place handy though do I to repair uh which is closer this one this one's closer uh it's gonna need repairs though so it's probably not worth it let's just get up here all right there's advanced Tiamat development that's gonna get us Research, we can now hopefully do ECM Jammer, which we can. That's going right to the front of the list. All right, we have it already. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, Missionary Center doesn't do us any good. I don't see anything else new here. All right. Let's uh, get into manufacturing one ECM jammer at least. And let's get it up here. Okay, there's that. And we're doing okay for time here. Uh, we're going to buy up all your stuff here.
Okay, that's good. We can come here. These guys can't engage without the other plane, so we're just uh, waiting for the second. We might as well explore this. Ooh, I was hoping to be in a little better shape to handle this. But... All right, bounty hunters rerouting to here. This plane is still on its way. Okay, trade here. Just trying to get us to where we're going to have an actual mission, guys. This could be a little bit here. Okay. That looks okay. Let's come back over this way. Let's come here. We can get some more stuff here. Okay, Haven infested by Pandorans. That's the bounty hunters. They're in position, but they're not doing that by themselves. Uh, what's this guy got? He's got... Uh, weapons that we can deal with, I think. Okay, let's try it and see what we got here. We can always pull back out of here, too. We don't have a defensive module, so we're going to have to get his guns quick. So. Oh, why is our... Oh, our range is just terrible. Oh, my goodness. That isn't going to work. We're going to get killed here. Uh, well, he'll get one shot in. And he'll probably, he's not going to destroy either of these with one hit. We'll give it a try. Okay, got our module. Okay, let's see how this does. Uh, he's just taking shots at our... Okay, that's still not enough. Let's get out. Okay. Well, this isn't going well. <laughs> they were always here, Exploration Site. Our operatives discovered an abandoned Phoenix Project microfiche archive. The building is almost entirely overgrown with pulsating yellow vines that are oddly reminiscent of long, headless moray eels. Trying to enter may result in injuries. That's fine. Okay, uh, most of our most of the microfiche are part of the archive documenting unsolved mysteries created on the orders of Administrator Irina Semenova. Semenova was forced to quit her job after an intense conflict in the KGB in 1968, and the archives were never completed. Uh, the sites languished until it was shut down by Administrator Fred Halleck in 1991. The mysteries documented here may well represent older, isolated outbreaks of the Pandora virus, and as such, are invaluable to our scientists. 225 mats, tech, 100, uh, 125 food, and 95 research. Suffered 30 damage. Okay, let's trade here. And let's take their materials. Um, I don't need the... Well, yeah, food's okay. Let's trade the food, too. It's not that much. Okay, looks good. Let's come down to here. We can trade. Oh, uh, nope. Uh, how bad's our base? Bad. Nah, not terrible. He, they did a little bit of damage on each piece. Oh, come on. Too many, too many clicks there. Let's get up here. Oh, you need to move out of there for sure. Okay, I'm going to slow the geoscape down just a little bit here. Okay, um, what do we got? Two hours to repair. Energy generator's good. Okay, now we're repairing. 
That's probably good. Let's get down here. Okay, you are all repaired. Get back down here. Oh, good. Our opportunity is here. Okay, Haven's infested. I want to get uh, the other team down there. And then we'll... Oh. Let's get out of there. <laughs> All right, Haven infested by Pandorans. Is that both teams there? No, we are intercepting here. Uh, his weapon is damaged. I think we can probably stay in this one now and finish it. Okay, nothing's happening. All right, well, we got a little technical difficulty here. Um, I'm going to see if I can get it out, get us out of it. And I might actually have to end the episode here. And I'll see what I can do. I'm, I'll bring you guys right back after I sort this. Hold on just a minute. Okay, guys, we're back where we were. Uh, let's try this one more time here. All right, same, same. Everything looks good. Uh, I just reloaded the autosave. It was right before the start of this battle, so no problems. Everything's fine. Let's try this one more time. Okay, there we go. That seems better. Okay, let's spin this up. Let's see if we can handle a few hits here and get this done. Oh, he's going for a gun now. Got the gun. And we missed, and he didn't. So let's get out again. Okay, this is going to be a minute. <laughs> uh, the good news is we can... Uh, oof, we have to go clear over to there, huh? Completed a raid flight. All right. Found a scavenging site at the one place there. We're not going to bother with that. Uh, let's get back to here, I guess. Okay, we're going to try this one more time. Oh, we have our Thunderbolts now. Nice. Okay. Try this one more time. Okay, he's got one little pea shooter left. This, this hopefully will go our way. <laughs> of course, the way things are going, you never know. So far, things haven't been great for us. There we go. Now he's got no weapons. Couple more hits. There we go. Okay, now then, now we can get this team in here. And we can deploy next turn, next time. So I think that's going to do it for this mission, for this episode. And if you've enjoyed it, do me a big favor. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button too. And we'll see you guys next time when we go in here and we take on this corrupted haven and get a little bit of, get a little bit of uh, damage on the behemoth and see if we can get him pack. And he's two of 16 already. And so these are going to be uh, five or seven each. I can't remember. I think there's seven. So two havens will do the trick. We just need to get rid of this guy, this guy, and these two, and we're out. So no problems. Uh, so we're looking forward to doing that. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.